Hello and what's up guys, welcome back to Chat Online Media and today we are back again with another interesting video. So guys, in times past, married couples could not work in the same media house, but things have changed for the better. Rashid Abdallah and his wife Lulu Hassan got the golden chance of working in the same media house. Not only that, they co-anchor and co-host at Citizen TV's Nipashe Weekendi, which is a popular Kenyan weekend Swahili news edition. Interestingly, they have managed to keep it together despite the current trend of short-lived celebrity marriages. Despite their demanding career lives, they have coped well and surpassed people's expectations. The sensational power couple is a great source of inspiration to the youth. They are also great role models as far as marriage and family life in this digital era is concerned. They have proven that marriage, career, family, business, and fame can go hand in hand. Lulu Hassan was born Lulu Khadija Hassan. She was raised up in Mombasa County, Kenya. She's a Kenyan of Kikuyu, Somali, and Seychelles descent. When her mother died in 2007, Lulu continued running her real estate business. Being the eldest, she took the role of taking care of her two younger sisters. Rashid Abdallah, on the other hand, was also born and brought up in the coastal region. He has two brothers. Sadly, his father died in 1996 when they were still young. Unfortunately, he also lost his elder brother in 2019. His mother, however, has continued being a strong pillar of his family. Initially, Lulu Hassan trained as a cabin crew, human resource manager, hostess and ticketing officer at Sirene Travel Operations College in Mombasa. However, her career took a different direction. She got a job opportunity as a presenter in one of the local radio stations. It was at Radio Salam that she discovered her ability and talent in media. She went back to school to study mass communication and journalism. Meanwhile, after Rashid finished his information technology and journalism studies both locally and abroad, he also got a chance to work at Radio Salam. Lulu and Hassan parted ways after working at the radio station and each proceeded to work at other media stations. In 2018, the couple teamed up again at Citizen TV of Royal Media Services. It is one of the leading media companies in East and Central Africa. These two fascinating lovebirds met at Radio Salam in 2007 during an interview. Rashid later confessed that he fell in love with Lulu's voice even before he had met her in person. After meeting for the first time, they got engaged two weeks later. This was a blessing to Lulu since she already had a confident and a comforter in Rashid when her mother passed away. Although they got engaged in 2007, Lulu Hassan and Rashid Abdallah waited until 2013 to get married. They have two handsome sons and a beautiful daughter who is the last born yet. Lulu has managed to uphold her marriage to Rashid by maintaining their friendship, solving their differences before bed and being submissive to her husband. Saseni, Saseni, oh na itwa. And you? Fatma. Fatma Hassan Mugambi. Wow. Fatma Hassan Mugambi. Fatma Hassan Mugambi. Chocolate beauty, beauty, dark beauty. And who is what's your father's name? My my father's name is Hassan Mugambi. Wow. Her father's name is is. Rashid Abdallah, wow. her, mother's, her mother's name wow. is Lulu, Lulu Hassan. So guys, many people do ask who dresses Lulu Hassan and Rashid Abdallah. Being well-groomed as a public figure is inevitable. Lulu and Rashid have been named as one of the best-groomed media couples in Kenya. Their exquisite outfits are designed and made at City Fisher Clothing, owned by Kenyan stylist Brie Brighton Okut, also known as Tyler001. The clothing brand has won Fashion House of the Year 2017 and Menswear Designer of the Year 2018-2019 awards. In addition, Lulu Hassan won the 2020 Couture Africa Style Award for the most stylish TV and radio personality. There's a minute, minute. Ah, grow up! Look at me, I have kids. <laughs> Sing happy birthday to you. Happy birthday! I've never been to this place. 
Happy birthday. Lulu grew up assisting her mother in her businesses. Therefore, there was no hassle whatsoever when business opportunities came calling. Long before she ventured into news presentation, Lulu was a vivid actress. Her skills and ambition in the acting field have catapulted her on a higher pedestal as far as film industry is concerned. Together with her husband, they own and run Jiffy Pictures which produces award-winning and engaging Kenyan drama series. Some of the series include Kovu, Huba, Aziza, Zora, Kaidi, Mizani, Maza, Moyo, and Maria, which are in Swahili. Huba, which airs on Africa Magic Bongo, won the gold medal for Best General Entertainment Promo at the 2019 Pro Max Awards in South Africa. Lulu always credits the achievements to her husband, who is the major scriptwriter for their outstanding shows. Lulu Hassan and Rashid Abdallah are among the best paid media personalities in Kenya. Together they take home more than 1 million Kenyan shillings in salaries. As a matter of fact, the couple is among the best 10 highest paid journalists in Kenya in 2024. It is no wonder then that Rashid Abdallah is the best Swahili presenter in Kenya. Apart from their salaries, the couple is also into brand advertisement. Recently, they bagged an ambassadorial job for Downy Soap Detergent, which has a perfume that lasts all day long. The Downy advert has had over 1.5 million YouTube views since it was done in July 2021. As their salaries and income continue to rise by the day, so does their wealth. Currently, Rashid earns over 750,000 plus other allowances, while Lulu earns over 700,000 Kenyan shillings on a monthly basis. The five business lessons to learn from Lulu Hassan and Rashid Abdallah are Number one, be different from others. Whatever business that you decide to venture into, be different from the rest. The products and services you intend to offer may be similar to what your competitor is selling. However, you can offer unique customer service, for example. Number two, invest heavily in your products. Do not make products just for the sake of it. When talking to Kenyans, Lulu spelled out that they take time to create high-quality content. She explained that it is paramount to do proper research and make quality and affordable products, and that it is important for one to ensure that the products are nicely packaged to appeal to customers. And we can all see this from the couple's fashion sense, the which has won the be a master of awards. your field. When Lulu was younger, she acted for various local drama series. This enabled her to know what it entails to make good TV content. Likewise, to succeed in business, have the details of the process used to make your products or services at your fingertips. Understand the process completely. The fourth one, dream big but start small. Jiffy Pictures started out by creating short TV series. By understanding the process and breaking it into smaller easy-to-do steps, they managed to create several award-winning TV drama series. And lastly guys, be creative with your marketing. Lulu Hassan and Rashid Abdallah use the available platforms to market their content. They also use their social media avenues like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube to create their content awareness. The effect was a sold out series. In other words, create anticipation even before your product is ready. Lulu Hassan and Rashid Abdallah have shown that motivation, hard work and respect for each other is the key to success. They have braved celebrity storms and the dangers of Rumamongaras to achieve the best for their young adorable family. In fact, they don't seem like stopping anytime soon. For them, it's forward ever and backward never. What do you admire most about this couple? Share your thoughts in the comment box below. Also remember to subscribe, like, comment and share this video for more amazing updates.